Welcome back, folks, one and all, to Let's Play the Temple of Elemental Evil. And I think we've got some missions coming up. Now that's something I can help you with, Tertian. Where do you think these bandits are coming from? I cannot be certain, but there is a moat house nearby that had once been a den of evil, and it may be luring bandits back there as a base once again. Here, I shall mark its location on your map. Marvelous! They've given us the location of the moat house, an outpost of the Temple of Elemental Evil. We won't be going there for a while, though. It's a bit tough for us. Uh, where can I... Can you tell me about this moat house? The moat house had been an outpost for the Temple of Elemental Evil years ago. After the Battle of Emerity Meadows, we found the moat house and raised it. It was cleansed of all evil. If it has been cleansed of evil, why do you suspect that there are more bandits there now? Even in its demolished state, its proximity to the trade routes of Hamlet, with sheltered rooms and underground labyrinth, make it an attractive den for bandits. Indeed. It would seem that it must be cleansed of evil once again. May I ask more questions? How can I help you? Well, can, you can you tell me about St. Cuthbert and the history of the church here? Our church was built eight years ago after the war against the Temple of Elemental Evil in honor of the Archcleric of Luna, who brought St. Cuthbert's assistance to the war. That sounds Canada good. Canada Day was the first chief cleric here, and my predecessor. What is the Temple of Elemental Evil? The Temple of Elemental Evil was destroyed in the wars about ten years back. Its ruins remain an evil place. Unfortunately, I lost a great personal treasure to myself in those wars. Really? If only it could be found. I will help you find it, Tersian. What is it? I lost an artifact of St. Cuthbert. It is a copper starburst pendant, not worth much to anyone else, really, but of great personal value to me. My father, rest his soul, gave it to me as a family heirloom when I became chief cleric in Willem. Do you have any idea where you might have lost it? Most likely in the Battle of Emerity Meadows. I've searched everywhere in that meadow, but I have been unable to locate it. For finding such a thing, I would gladly lower rates for my services. Don't worry, Tersh. I'll find it for you. Thanks, and good luck. The last place in that forsaken meadow I remember holding it was by a beautiful multicolored rock hidden from normal view. If you can find that in the meadow, it would be a good place to start. I am leaving now. Town map. We have a world map, too. It's not accessible from here, though. We will leave, though, for the time being. Okay. Yes, sir! We have places to go and people to be. You can hire people to join your party in this game. I usually do not, okay. however, mainly because they take a load of loot off you. And I think this game is perfectly doable with just five. We have a few things we need to do first. Most of the people in this place are particularly poor, but a few people have money. First thing we need to do is go to the blacksmith, because we need a few more items. Armor for Barry, a shield for Alexis. Where is he? There he is. The buckler provides minus one to my attacks, but plus one to my armor, which is why Barry Coleman has it. Let's talk to the blacksmith. Fred. Hello, I am Abaddon Kikoskia. Well met, bro Abaddon Kikoskia. I am Brother Smith, the village blacksmith. Brother? Are you a monk or a cleric? <laughs> I'm a brother because I am in the study of Jerome, the village druid. My abilities are few, but I can do what I can. Does this mean you can perform healing? I can perform a simple cure light wounds. So you are of the old faith? Yes, like Jerome, I follow the old faith. It is the way of balance all things. Do you think the old faith is dying out in the face of newer religions? No. Do you? No, I was just wondering. That is wonderful thing about old faith. You can have your opinion, and I can have mine, and there is balance. I, I see. Is there anything else I can do for you? Shall we barter, sir? Now, we can sell items. And we will.
like this. We now have 500 and... Come on. 501 gold, 20 silver, and 11 copper. Gold weighs, ma weighs stuff, which is not good. Oh, you only have leather armor as well. This is no good. No good at all. You don't even have a shield either. Oh, Chainmail is expensive. You'll notice he doesn't have a whole lot of equipment. do, however. We'll buy this heater shield. Give it to Rufus Buckler. Give him a heater shield. Improve his armor class. You should have a buckler on. I don't think you're proficient with shields, are you? You're not. We'll just sell that then. Give you a thieves' tools. The potions of cure light wounds will come in great handy. We can sell this. Now, what should we do next? We shall purchase some decent armor. Chainmail boots and everything are not very much more than cosmetic, but they will make our character look significantly better. Character's armor class is now 18, which is not too bad. We will buy some scale mail for Coleman. We can give Coleman this generic helm. As funny as it would be to keep Alexis having that uh, stag helmet. Might be better to give her just a normal helmet. And you could use these. So you will give them to you. There we go. Could you use this? Let's find out. Yes, she can! Improves her armor class to 17. Which is quite good. We'll give her a circlet. Put it on her head. And how much is this simple helmet going to cost? Quite a bit. Ugh. However, we can sell these suits of uh, leather. We'll cover it slightly. Now, as you can see, the party, well, it looks better. It looks significantly better. So, when we come back, folks, can you still. Uh, we haven't actually sorted out spells and everything. So, when we come back, folks, more Temple of Elemental Evil. Until then, until then.